everyone, Michelle here with Honey. And today we're doing another haul video. So, so highly requested on this channel. So today we're going to Whole Foods. And we're gonna show you the very best, our favorite things that are vegan at Whole Foods. Five each. Yep. So keeping it, keeping it our tippy top favorites. Let's dive in. Yeah. From the top. Okay. Drop that. Yeah. Feel the funk, y'all. I chose my first one, the Field Roast Mini Corn Dogs. I grew up eating mini corn dogs. My parents both worked and they were so busy, so they would often make something that was frozen really quickly, and I'm so happy that a childhood favorite of mine is now found vegan. I remember when I became vegetarian, when I became vegetarian, I wanted to try eating more vegan options, and so I thought I was doing a nice thing by uh, eating the Trader Joe's corn dog mm -hmm. and it's not vegan and so to find a vegan one I didn't know it's vegan it's a vegan company I, it makes me so happy and this company is field roast it's yeah. probably my favorite plant-based meat company yes. on the planet their stuff They're is amazing so good. and they're innovating like crazy like when we were at the store tony was like i can't decide which one of these to get and show because yes. they have so many amazing products yeah, so stay tuned for more all right, so I'm gonna dive into cheese because that's a big thing I hear when people go plant-based. They're like, oh, I can never give up cheese. Well, you don't have to. Of course, there's so many plant-based cheeses out there, but this from Miyoko's is one of my, it's probably my absolute favorite fancy gourmet mm -hmm. uh, vegan cheese out there. Um, so you can find a whole line from Miyoko's at Whole Foods. She even has like a mozzarella that you can use on pizza, but this is the double cream chive. It's so good. I've served it to so many people who are not at all vegan, and they're just like, wow, how, how does this magic happen? Michelle and I also toured the Miyoko's factory, so she'll link it down below yeah, so that, that you can take fun. a look too. Yes, and one more thing about Miyoko's is if you don't live in an area where you can access this in stores, you can also order her cheese online and have it shipped right to your doorstep, so that's really cool. Yeah, and it makes a great Christmas present. Yes. So for, for Christmas, if my friends lived far away, I sent them vegan cheeses and everybody was happy. Yes, and for reference, these are a little more expensive. This was around $10, so it is for sure like a fancier vegan cheese, something you'd use on a cheese platter, but... Really decadent and yummy, yay, Miyoko! And also, you can find some coupons that are printable so, online. Yeah, online. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. What's next? Uh, what's next is Woo! everyone's. Many people have a new favorite burger in town, and it is the Beyond Burger. It's my favorite. I've served it to so many people now, and have recommended it to so many people who eat me and love this product. They think it's as flavorful. We think it's as flavorful. We did a, a video uh, doing a comparison, which we'll also link below. And uh, yeah, it's really good. And they sell it at Whole Foods, so check it out. Yep, and if you're not near Whole Foods, they even have it at like Target. It's getting just yep. really widely Safeway. accessible. And it's cool because a lot of stores are putting it in the meat section, which a lot of people who are vegan are like, oh, I don't want to shop there. But it's really good because people who are not vegan are suddenly seeing these products there and giving them a try. So yeah, it's awesome. people shop based on convenience yes. and not having to go to the other section where all of the yeah. like maybe hippy dippy vegetarian yeah. products are uh, makes it easier easier for them to spot it and want to be to try it out because they're curious. Yeah, this is how plant based becomes mainstream. Yep. All right, next up, I'm gonna do another brand that I love, which is Kite Hill. This is a cream cheese that's plant based. It's their chive flavor and it's really delicious. This is more of like a whipped cultured cream cheese. So the flavor is a lot more complex than kind of your basic tofu mm -hmm. vegan cream cheese, but I love it. It's even good just like on crackers dip. So if you're looking for a really decadent and flavorful uh, breakfast or lunch or snack yeah. treat, this one's really good. A lot of people rave about it. And, and I yeah, I like, I've tried a couple flavors and they've all been really good. Yeah, I know they have a jalapeno, they have a plain one, yeah. they have some other things. Um, and Miyoko's actually also just came out with a line of vegan cream cheese that's on the fancier end. So. Yeah, if you've tried it, let us know how it is. Yeah, I'm really curious about the lox cream, vegan lox cream cheese by Miyoko's. I am very curious. <laughs> Next on my list is pretty uh, easy to find, mm -hmm. but it's one of my favorite things to travel with. I travel a lot and uh, sometimes I don't stay in the nicest places. So if I don't have access to a microwave or I'm 
not wanting to go out uh, and I'm staying at a hotel, I love that these have a pull off top. And so I pull it off and find a spoon and I eat it out of the can. And I know it sounds kind of crazy because it's not warm, but when you're hungry, this is a really good option. They also have a light sodium one and they have chili and other soup flavors. I know this really speaks to like the degree of extreme laziness that I have, but even when I'm at home and there's a <laughs> can that just has like the flip pull off top, like I buy refried beans from uh -huh. Trader Joe's and I always reach for the one with the flip top because it's just so much easier. Like yeah. one step you can eliminate from yeah. the process. So that's cool. Um, all right. Next up, if you guys watched our videos, you know, we are huge lovers of ramen. Uh, you can get like top ramen vegan. Um, but I really appreciate that Whole Foods has this brand, Koyo, um, and they're kind of a more natural, healthier, fewer, like, no chemicals and stuff. I mean, it's certainly still not a health food, but they're a much more natural option. Um, my favorite flavor is garlic pepper. They also have seaweed and a bunch of other flavors, and um, they're pretty affordable, just little easy meals. So keeping these in the pantry is uh, must for me. I love them. Yeah. And so even though you may eat healthy, it does feel good to find, uh, familiar comfort foods that you enjoyed before and have them be healthier. Yeah. So this definitely. doesn't have all of the bad stuff, as much of the bad stuff as the, um, regular traditional top ramen. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as Michelle just mentioned, we really love soups, specifically ramen and noodle soups, but uh, we make our own all the time. And this is a really great option for a soup base. Some people, uh, they are having a hard time finding bouillon cubes that are vegetarian, but this is pretty accessible and Whole Foods always has it. It's called Better Than Bouillon and it says vegetarian and it was a lot cheaper than the meat-based ones. So that was cool too. Yay. And there's like 36 servings, 38, yeah, 38 servings. servings. And we were comparing to like the little actual cubes mm -hmm. and they're pretty much cost competitive. Like yeah. they're very similar. And this one's much more flavorful in my opinion than the cube cubed versions at Whole Foods sells. Yeah, I'm so, going to have yeah. to try that because I always use the cubed and I have not yet tried better than bouillon. My next is a yogurt. So this is a newer brand that stepped into the vegan yogurt arena. This is Forager Project. I love them. Uh, they make this cashew-based yogurt and I'm a huge fan of just vanilla yogurt and this is one that I give a thumbs up. We have done a yogurt taste test video, and if you have watched that or just tried a lot of the plant-based yogurts out there, you'll know some of them are just nasty. nasty. Some of them are Spit super amazing, and this is a good one. Like, this is a solid one for me. You know, the consistency is not super weird, uh, and I like it. Have you yeah. tried this one? Mm -hmm. Nice. I tried it at Expo, okay. and I tried several flavors, all of which I liked. Yeah. What I like about this, the vanilla one, is there's actual, like, little oh, flakes of yeah. true vanilla in there so that's cool okay and lastly is dessert our we favorite and whole foods has uh pretty good options in their yeah. bakery section so uh, michelle picked out a donut, donut and i got uh this one's called the vegan fancy uh, vegan fancy cupcake and it's a chocolate cupcake with a raspberry. And they also have cakes, which I didn't know until today. Uh, Michelle, that was like my staple because Whole Foods was like the first major retailer that always consistently carried vegan cakes. So like 10 years ago when I went vegan and had to get like a birthday cake for someone or from someone had to get a birthday cake for me, it was like so easy to say, oh, you can just get one at Whole Foods. Yeah, and they have two sizes. They have one that's about uh, that big and that one is 20 bucks. And then they have the bigger one, which is 30 bucks. So, uh, and they're good. Yeah, that's good. You're good. Okay, my last one, sort of on the dessert train, is from Abe's. They are awesome. They make these vegan muffins, and both Tony and I are obsessed with their vegan muffins. Um, and The blueberry is my the, favorite. They have a the blueberry, sure. and they have a chocolate chip. They might have others as well, but I love them both. This is really great if you have, like, guests or friends coming over mm -hmm. and staying the night. You can have these in the morning. Don't the have tea. to do baking. Um, and they're just squishy, sweet, like, perfect. They're the perfect muffin. Mm -hmm. And they're mini, so they're so cute and snackable. I love them. Yeah, and when we went to Expo, we talked a little bit to the people at Apes, and they were so nice and friendly, yes. and that always makes me want to uh, support a company more when yeah. I know that they're kind and uh, approachable people. Yeah. Yeah, and they clearly label their stuff vegan, and I just love it. 
So that's our wrap up. Oh, Michelle I had one more. other thing. Oh, I forgot to bring the thing over, but that's okay. It's just a special mention. Mention. So Whole Foods has a deli section. They have you know pizza and burritos and sandwiches. And my favorite sandwich of all time ever, pre-vegan and vegan, comes from the Whole Foods deli. I get like they have olive tapenade on there and grilled tofu and just loaded with veggies and, and they'll vegan like mayonnaise and yeah if yeah. you want that on there. Um, and they'll heat it and they'll you can ask you can write in for them to add on day of vegan cheese. They'll melt it and press it in the panini press and it's just so, so good. I'll try and insert a photo or clip or something of that, but that sandwich is amazing. Highly recommend. And in general, their deli section and their hot bar are super vegan friendly. Mm -hmm. I was just in uh, Hawaii and they had delicious vegan pizza with vegan cheese and vegetables. It was so good. And it was the same price as their other stuff. So yeah. And the deli sections will vary a little bit from location to location, of course, but I have traveled in many different places and gotten mm -hmm. pretty epic sandwiches. So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'd love to hear from you. If you shop at Whole Foods, what are some of your favorite things there? Uh, would you like to see a part two where we kind of go a little further through the grocery store and show you some more of our favorites? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, you can find more of Tony at bestonabudget.com and Michelle at worldofvegan.com. I'll drop all of Tony's like Instagram, social media, and everything down below. Be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of awesome content coming from you for you. More hauls, a mini documentary, Yay. some other things. And as always, if you have requests for types of videos you want us to make for you, we would love to. Just let us know. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see Bye. you next time. Bye.